So now the final of the men's 5,000 metres, T13. Least visual impairment. 11 go in this. Two athletes with guides. And just one of the athletes going with two guides. Meaning they have to let the officials know where in the race they're going to pick up the second guide. It isn't just a case of all of a sudden you drop one off and the other one comes in. You have to let them know where you are going to change guides. That is Yeltsin Yaks we are talking about from Brazil. Here we go with two guides. Ayrton Nascimento and Carlos Antonio dos Santos. The man you just saw, El Amin Shentu. Estrada of Mexico, we saw a moment or two ago. It's his birthday today, the 29th of October. He was born in 1982. Could this be a happy birthday for him? Happy 33rd birthday. The man to look out for here will be El Almin Shentouf. Bronze over 1,500 metres already at these championships. He took gold in 2012 in the 5,000. He's also the reigning champion in this event. And added to that, he's also the championship record holder and the world record holder from London 2012, the Moroccan. Final of the men's 5,000 metres, T13. It's Suarez Lazo of Spain, Oguz Akbulut of Turkey, Ben Ibrahim of Morocco, Orokoshi of Japan, Wele of Canada, Assad of Morocco, Jacques of Brazil, Clifford of Australia, Estrada of Mexico, Shentu of Morocco, Kumagai of Japan. The athletes with guides, Oguz Akbulut, who is Mohamed Emi Tan with him for Turkey, and Yeltsin Jacques who was born the month Boris Yeltsin came into power in Russia, is alongside Erita Nascimento and then Carlos Antonio de Santos, reigning world and Paralympic champion Elamine Chantouf, and Alberto Suarez Lazo of Spain is the reigning European champion. And it is the Canadian Ole who leads out in front from Spain's Suarez Lazo, who's up there as well. The pace rather slow at the moment, they're just under 12 laps remaining in this 5,000 metres race. They're all quite bunched together. And the man it will be looking out for, El Armin Shentou. Bronze medal already. And the defending champion in this, his time is quite a little bit better than many of the other athletes' lifetime best in this race, so it'll be a case of seeing when he decides to make his move. But expect him to do something probably midway through the race. It is a uh, T13 final, but the athletes allowed guides are T12s. Leading the way, a little jaunt around for Wale Suarez. Second place, silver in the World Championship Marathon that was held in London earlier this year, which Elamin Shentov won. So he already has a, a World Championship title to his name this year, having claimed the Paralympic title over 5,000 metres at London 2012. Adam Bani Assad making his major championship debut, as is the 16-year-old Australian Jared Clifford from Melbourne, and Estrada from Mexico City. There's uh, quite a bit of pain that can be extracted in this climate, in this humidity. Estrada making his championship debut. If 
further he may push himself on his 33rd birthday, he may be asking himself, do you really want to hurt me? Number one the day he was born, incidentally. Well, just remembering that you can take water on in this race. You'll see when they do go around the back straight, if you did see someone throw a water bottle away, it is because the athletes in this event can take on water when they go around the back straight. Ode Santos, who was winning quite handsomely in the T11 5,000 metres final a few days ago, got to the last 120 metres in the 5,000 metres. He collapsed onto the ground. He didn't win. He was disqualified in the end when he finished in fourth place because he was helped out and he went off the track. He decided not to take on water, so the option is there. If you don't take it, that is what may happen to you. But at the moment, it is Spain out in front through Alberto Suarez Lasso. And in second place now, it is the Canadian, Guillermo Ele, who has gone into the silver medal position. And they are bunched right behind the two runners with guides, uh, second last and third last, as we round the 200 metre mark on this lap, coming around up to around the four minute mark in this race. Soros Lasso is our leader, he's from Oviedo, the 37 year old reigning marathon Paralympic champion from London 2012, world champion for Christchurch in 2011 and obviously European champion thanks to his triumph in Swansea last year. Holding his own just ahead of Guillaume Ouellet, he finished fourth in the 1500 metres, the man from Quebec and in third place. Moving up the Moroccan, El Amin Shentouf, a master at this. All the titles he secured down through the years won three world titles, the three longest world titles in Lyon, the 5,000, the 10,000, and the marathon. The Japanese athlete, Kumigai, he's been dropped off the back of the pack, so he's going to have some work to do. But at the moment, he looks like he's really struggling with this heat. And we've seen this over the past few days, that when it comes to the 5,000 metres, the athletes do struggle. That's when they go through there. That is the water station if they decide to pick up some water. The man at the back, Yutaka Kumigoi, has decided not to, though. So will he pay the price for that? In front of him, it is the two athletes with guides in Yeltsin Yaks of Brazil and also Ogas Akbalut of Turkey, who's in there in second last and third last place as a athlete just skips out of the pack there a bit of a pushing and shoving taking place but up front still it's Alberto Suarez Lasso but looking ominous there on third place on the inside is the man El Almin Shentouf the defending champion in this and he looks like he's doing it quite comfortably at the moment but also in there is the man from Mexico Estrada is in fourth place at the moment. Sweat absolutely beating down to them at the moment, even though they have run four and a half laps, 1,800 metres, still 3,200 to go. It was a Horikoshi from Kyoto, the 27-year-old Japanese who'd found himself pumped about bronze in the World Championship Marathon earlier this year, the other Japanese athlete has found himself off the pace. Yakuta Kumagai from Yokohama, who finished fifth in the marathon. It, it has become quite humid again here in terms of the overall temperature here in Doha right now. It is 30 Celsius. It's a clear night. Always generally is a clear night here. But the humidity has noticeably risen as the evening has gone on. It was about 55% humidity when the evening started at 4 p.m. So leading the way for Spain, Alberto Suarez Lazo, and now it's Wale in second place for Canada, and El Amin Chantou for the glasses in third place. 3.10 for the first kilometre, 3.04 for the second. So the pace is being upped by the front runners somewhat, and they know what it's like to earn major championship medals and it looks like uh, Suarez Lasso there has got even quicker in second place it is still the Canadian Ule and in third place El Almin Shentu but they just seem to quicken the pace somewhat there as Assad is up there also with them and there is plenty of pace on compared to what we've had already and there is a change for the athlete with 
the two guides in Yeltsin Jax. He's dropped off Eriton Nascimento and he's picked up Carlos Antonio Dos Santos. You have to say at what point of the race you are going to change guides. You are allowed to have two guides in this 5,000 metres event and they've changed guides as the Brazilian Yeltsin Jax and he's right in there amongst the middle of that pack. Uh, it doesn't look like there's any attachment. Well, I suppose there couldn't be if there's uh, something of the guides here just to uh, maintain a running commentary alongside him, the uh, vision for a T12. Well, it wouldn't be the best, but there would be some vision there. Still may need uh, his guide alongside just to describe what's happening. Less than six laps to go, and it's as you were at the front. Suarez Laza for Spain. Wale of Canada, good momentum still being put in by Elamine Chantouf, who's been a, a past master of hanging on and then zipping away at the right time late on to get the gold. We've seen that a lot from him with those three goals and Leon at the last World Championships where it was quite hot there. It was in the middle of July and uh, the action was over at 8 p.m. every evening. So there was intense heat and some days quite intense wind. So a double whammy for quite a few of the athletes who were there. Well, we've lost Kumigo off the back. We're also losing a couple of others now. It's the Australian of Jared Clifford, who seems to be going backwards as well. And also one of the other athletes with a guide in August Agbalit of Turkey, who is dropping back also. And we have one other who's really fading away towards the back of the field. It is the Mexican in the field, Estrada. So he's dropping back with Jared Clifford of Australia and also Ogres Agbalut. So they've started to move away and the pace is starting to quicken in front as the man who's defending champion, El Amin Shentouf, makes his move from Morocco. He's now stretching out in front and in second place, Guillaume Ule of Canada. The Spaniard Suarez Lasso is in third, but they're coming right back up there now. And he is going backwards in the field. Suarez Lasso has moved back in the fifth position. How about this for timing? Less than five laps to go. 3.06 for the last kilometre. The past 3,000. 3.04 had been the second of 1,000. And a quick acceleration. They've kept pretty much the same pace. Elamine Shantouf, a marvellous champion over the long distances, over T13, and he himself is a T12, but no need for a guide at all. That's a very strong advantage he's opened up. We've seen him do this so many times in the past. Well, in second place for Canada. It's Ben Ibrahim, who's moved up from Morocco in third place. Serious acceleration, a bit of a gap then. Back to fourth place. It's Assad of Morocco. And then even further back, battling for fifth is the Spaniard, Suarez Lazo, and the Japanese Hirokoshi. Ben Ibrahim looks to have switched numbers. Uh, I can tell you, by the way, with Estrada, why that would be the case, we're not sure. It's happened once or twice this week. There are a lot of races going on here, but look at the lead that Elamine Shentouf has opened up here quite superbly. He has indeed, and he's probably up to about 20 to 30 metres now, and he's only getting bigger. And we just caught a quick glimpse there of the man in second place from Canada, Guillermo Ole, who really looks like he's struggling somewhat there. Also coming along, Ben Abraham of Morocco in third place, but they now in those three places. But the man out in front is really stretching his legs as he comes up across the finishing line and there are three laps remaining so watch him go from here he's really hit the front and he's pulling away is El Amin Shantouf the defending champion but it is Ben Ibrahim who's in third place and in second place from Canada Guillaume Ule with Spain's Suarez Lasso in fourth well the lead is increasing all the time up to around 40 meters for El Amin Shantouf the Moroccan with great pace and a brilliant heart. All the time, stride by stride, increasing the advantage. Little bit of a move up by Wele. Away, up into second place. 2.53 for the fourth kilometer 
And when he turns around, heading into the final straight, he'll see on the board there are two laps to go. Elamine Chantou with a very strong advantage. The Canadian Wale in second place. The Moroccan Ben Ibrahim is in third. Still a bit of movement back in fourth place. Two laps to go here, and it's 12.45 he passes through. Hello, man, Chantou, if you're starting to struggle at the front. We saw this, didn't we, just a few days ago with Adair Santos, but the man in second place from Canada, Guillaume Ule, has really shortened that lead. It was down to about 40 or 50 metres at one point, but he has got away from the man in third place from Morocco, Youssef Ben Ibrahim. Hello, man, Chantou, if out in front, he looks like he's really starting to tighten up the Moroccan. He's the defending champion, but Canada's Ule is coming after him. He's narrowed that gap now, down to 10 metres, and El Amin Shentouf is tying right up. He's had a look around. Oh, he's, he's pulled. pulled up. He's pulled up. El Amin Shentouf, well, with a lap and a bit to go, he has pulled up. It is too hot for him. He has gone down. So it is Canada's Guillem Ule who now leads. He was putting the pressure on. El Amin Shentouf, he looked around. He was in trouble. He knew he was being caught. He is down in the back straight in big trouble indeed. And they're all starting to come through now. In first place, it is Ule of Canada. In second place, Ben Ibrahim. But here comes Spain's Alberto Suarez Lasso. He was one of the early leaders. He's in third place, but he's really putting a sprint on as he comes across chasing Yusuf Ben Ibrahim. In third place, it is the Japanese athlete in Horigoshi. But it is the Canadian coming around the far side in Guillaume Ule in first place. Ben Ibrahim is now making an effort to catch up. But the man from Spain, Alberto Suarez Lasso, is coming up on Ben Ibrahim to take second place. But the man in front from Canada, Guillaume Ule, looks very strong indeed. But the rest behind him is starting to catch up. In second place is Ben Ibrahim. But Spain's Alberto Suarez Lasso, he led out in front. But could he get the pace up? He stopped back, but he's gone through here. He's in third place, looking to get up into second. Canada's Guillaume Ule is in first place as he comes down to take the last 100 metres. But there is a sprint on behind him. In second place, it's Yusuf Ben Ibrahim. But in third, coming through to take it, it's Alberto Suarez Lasso. But the winner who's going across the line in a moment or two is Guillaume Ule of Canada, who picks up the win, 15.07.65. And it's Spain's Alberto Suarez Lasso, who comes through to take second. In third place, Yusuf Ben Ibrahim of Morocco. He couldn't hold on for silver, but he'll take the bronze medal and coming across to take fourth. It is Abdani Assad of Morocco as well. So Morocco in third and fourth, but what about this for an effort now? The Japanese athlete who's coming across. Tadashi Horikoshi, oh. can he make it across the line? He's only just made it as he collapses across the line and then coming through to take the following place. It is the man with the guide from Brazil, Yeltsin Yax. Jared Griffin, but he is in all sorts of trouble. Horikoshi, I think they need to get some medical attention down there because he is really struggling, the Japanese athlete. Coming in towards the end, his legs went wobbly. The medical attention is coming across now, but he is really, really struggling after that 5,000 metres, and credit to him getting across the line as we see now the second of the Japanese athletes who comes across it is Yutaka Kumagai but what drama with around 600 meters to go I'm looking across to the far side it's astonishing and by the way yes you can see ice being uh, spread on there to uh, Horikoshi who was wobbling quite heavily as he made his way across the line in fifth place. It is astonishingly humid. It is still, it may be 9.30 p.m. at night. It is very, very warm here still. It is around 30 Celsius, which would be about 90 Fahrenheit. The humidity is still quite noticeable. Might be pleasant for uh, sitting out of an evening, but certainly not running a 5,000 meters race. But the amazing thing was when our longtime leader just pulled out. Now he was, he was holding his left shin there, but very hot. Now he has won in very hot conditions before. And then suddenly, a little look around from the Canadian here, Guillaume Willet, and he realized 
that victory would be his. Does look a lot like the great Brett Lakatos. What a big win. And uh, that golden feeling for the man from Quebec again. Well, you look at these 5,000 metres events, and we saw it in the T11 when Odair Santos of Brazil looked like he had the win. And with around 120 metres to go, the heat got to him over that 5,000. And then we see here that El Amin Shentouf, with around 600 metres to go, he made his move well beforehand. He got out to a big lead at one point of around 50 to 60 metres. But that man there ran a smart race to get across the line. But the man who ran the smartest race of all was from Canada. That man there, Guillaume Ule. Yes, well might you give the one finger. You are number one. You are the champion. You are the gold medalist in the men's 5,000 metres T13. Congratulations to you. Well, I can tell you that uh, Orokoshi has made his way up. He's had uh, some cold water poured on him, and he is up and OK. So confirmation of the win, 15.07. 64 for Guillaume Ule of Canada, Alberto Suarez, Lasso of Spain, 15-11-01, and Yusuf Benabrahim, 15-11-89, rounding up the middle places.